Hi, my name is Kastutis and today I'll explain three core web design principles that you should know to create a visually engaging website. If you want to establish a strong online presence, having a well-designed website is a must. But why is it important? According to research, 38% of visitors will abandon the website if they find the layout unattractive. This leads to higher bounce rates, which can negatively impact the site's performance and search engine optimization, consequently lowering its rankings. By implementing some web design best practices, you can create an excellent first impression and boost the user experience. That way, visitors will stay longer on your site, resulting in a better SEO performance and more opportunities for conversions. To create a visually appealing website, there are three core web design principles you need to understand. These are color, visual hierarchy, and navigation. Let's go over each of them in more detail. The first principle is color. Using the right color combination enables you to establish a strong brand identity, highlight essential elements, and prompt visitors to take a specific action. To find suitable color palettes for your website, you'll first need to know the psychology behind them. For instance, organic food companies usually use green, as it represents freshness and nature. In contrast, premium or high-end brands like Gucci often combine black, white, and gold to establish a luxurious image. Once you understand the different types of colors and their meanings, choose a primary color that represents your website's identity and secondary ones to complement it. These will make up your brand's color palette. Make sure to consistently use them throughout the site, as this will help visitors get a better sense of your brand. It will also promote visual harmony and cohesion. In this instance, you can see how this website uses yellow as its signature color. Meanwhile, white is used as a background to break up visual elements, and dark blue is added for text and buttons. By using well-contrasted color schemes, the brand optimizes readability and navigation, helping visitors focus on the products and calls to action. By arranging design elements strategically, you can guide visitors to the most important sections of the web page. When designing the website layout, keep the following factors in mind. Composition. To give your site a cohesive structure, organize its elements based on the rule of thirds. This method splits a design or layout into thirds using a grid of nine boxes, making it easier to align text and adjust the positioning of objects. To see how the rule applies in practice, check out this iPad landing page. By dividing the banner evenly into nine boxes, Apple manages to find the right placements for its headline, call to action button, and product images. Next up is balance. By applying the rule of thirds here, you can place elements evenly across the page's centerline, creating a well-balanced symmetrical design. Adam Danaway's portfolio website is an excellent example of this practice. Apart from a symmetrical design, you can also implement an asymmetrical layout to achieve balance. Check out how Mercedes-Benz offsets this large product picture on its landing page with a smaller text block on the left side. Even though it is asymmetrical, the final image still produces a balanced layout. The third factor is white space. When arranging your website layout, use white space to break up text and design elements. This allows you to make the site less cluttered and helps visitors focus on the most important factors. However, using too much white space can also make your site look empty. So, to avoid a dull background, add personality and dimension by applying textures such as color gradients or three-dimensional surfaces to your web design. This website does a great job of implementing a subtle texture to the background while keeping the text readable. On the other hand, this example utilizes white space as a backdrop to make its 3D elements stand out. The next essential factor is scale. By using elements of different sizes, you can bring attention to crucial details. This is particularly beneficial for arranging text-based content on your site. To follow best practices, I recommend sticking with three sizes maximum. Keep the size ranges between 14 to 16 pixels for the body text, 18 to 22 pixels for subheadings, and up to 32 pixels for headings. 
In this example, you can see how Flux Academy uses a large font to direct the audience's attention to the main copy. A much smaller text block is placed below the heading to further explain what services the site offers, followed by a highlighted call to action button. Another crucial element of visual hierarchy is pattern. This is because people tend to follow a certain sequence when scanning content on a web page. By designing the site layout based on common viewing patterns, you can arrange the information more clearly to improve the overall user experience. Depending on the content type, web visitors scan information following the shape of the letter Z and F. With the Z pattern, users skim from the top left to the top right before moving down diagonally to the bottom left and scanning across the page. This pattern is commonly used for visual heavy pages, with less copy designed to make the product stand out. You can see how this website grabs the audience's attention by placing the headline at the top left of the page. Moving to the right, visitors will come across its featured products before going down diagonally to read the subheading and discover more product images. On the other hand, web visitors who follow the F pattern tend to scan websites from left to right and repeat the process as they scroll down the page. Then users typically go back to the top left and skim the rest of the content in a vertical line. That's why this pattern is best suited for text-heavy websites, like blogs and news outlets. For example, CNN usually places its featured articles on the upper part of its page, followed by a vertical list of secondary content forming the F pattern. Next is grouping. According to the proximity principle, grouping relevant elements together makes it easier for visitors to understand the site's structure and content. The order form on Adidas' checkout page is a good example of how effective grouping makes it more straightforward to sort information. In addition to clearly labeled headings, the popular shoe brand combines white space with contrasting text boxes to separate elements based on their category. The last factor in visual hierarchy is images. High quality images can make your website more visually appealing and keep visitors engaged. When adding them to your site, keep these best practices in mind. First, feature a hero image on the homepage to build a good first impression. A hero image is a large banner placed at the top of a web page. It can be a professional photograph or a graphic illustration that represents your brand. For instance, skincare companies often display a portrait of their model, so visitors can instantly associate the brand with health and beauty. Second, consider presenting your products or services using an image slider or carousel. That way, users can quickly flick through multiple photos without having to scroll down the page. And lastly, make sure to optimize your images, so they can render properly across different screen sizes and devices. The last web design principle to understand is navigation. Having a clear and intuitive interface enables visitors to navigate your site seamlessly. To achieve that, follow these methods. First, make sure your site has an intuitive and straightforward menu. This will help visitors explore different pages and locate content more efficiently. Most websites use a horizontal menu that appears at the top of a web page. It displays all the sections visitors expect to find, such as about, product categories, resources, pricing, and contact. A built-in search function can also speed up the navigation process. If you want your product images to take center stage, I recommend using a vertical sidebar menu as an alternative. Another type of navigation bar to consider is a drop-down menu. Websites with many web pages, like e-commerce stores, can greatly benefit from this type of menu, as it reduces clutter while also ensuring easy navigation. H&M's website is a great example of how effective a drop-down menu can be. Since it has various clothing categories, H&M uses a top-level horizontal navigation bar to display more general items. Whenever visitors click or hover over certain sections, a drop-down menu will appear containing a list of more specific subcategories. The second factor for better website navigation is to create calls to action that stand out. Having a clear and compelling CTA can lead visitors to take a specific action and spend more time on your website. Whether using an image, anchor text, or button, place your CTA in a strategic position, where users can easily notice it. Using a contrasting color can also make it stand out against the rest of the content. 
to further encourage visitors to click your simple and actionable copy, such as join now, learn more, or grab the deal. Check out how Netflix draws visitors' attention by placing the Get Started Call to Action button in the center of the homepage. This video on demand company also uses a contrasting red color to distinguish the CTA from the darker background. And last but not least, add a footer to your website for better navigation. This step is crucial, as visitors often scroll down to the bottom of the page to find more information that is often not available in the main menu. This may include the company's profile, address, learning resources, and social media links. Before creating a footer, determine the pages you want to include and group them into several categories. After that, use clear titles so visitors can find the relevant information easily. Brainbox AI's website offers a great example of a simple yet effective footer. Using tons of white space and clear navigational headings, the footer acts as a mini sitemap to help visitors locate content faster. And there you have it, the three web design principles you should know to create a visually engaging website. So, are you ready to start designing your own online project? If you have further questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more web design and development tutorials. Good luck on your online journey!